welcome back to my channel this is adana also known as the it from Z. oh shoot don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell to book uh book a private reading with me or shop in my store all that information is in the description box below <laughs> so <clears throat> i wanted to tap into the energy i want to tap into the, the the uh daily energy of um smelly cunts okay so that way we can keep abreast as to what's going on and stuff like that. Because I, I need to know what's up, okay? And apparently... <laughs> I told you, didn't I tell you about that house? Okay. I told you I'm going to make you a believer. So, smelly cunt some stove, something blew up in your home. <laughs> hearing voices and sleep paralysis okay um true shit spirit did show me that something in their home did blow up there a stove or some kind of there was some kind of a fire outburst or something that happened okay uh let's see what else is going on here. <laughs> And that's what you get, Mrs. Murderer. Bruh. Oh my God. The cackles, y'all. She hearing voices. Bruh. Having sleep paralysis. Do you know what sleep paralysis is? Sleep paralysis is when your body or your meat suit or the vehicle, okay, your body is laying down while you are sleeping. If your soul, so, you know, every night, um, you roam, okay, you go to other dimensions and other realities and things of that nature and if you come back from your trip and your soul is not in the body well then the body can't move right you need a soul to drive this body this vehicle right so that's why soulless meaning you don't have a soul you're cold right death right <laughs> so miss smelly cunts is actually going through severe <laughs> severe sleep paralysis as we speak okay she hasn't been really getting any um sleep so it's it's hard <laughs> for her to get sleep but spirit was telling me that something in the home uh stove or some kind of electrical something blew up there okay caused some kind of a big ass fire i, I didn't i tell you i, I told you so you ran back to Oklahoma. I said that wouldn't be a good look. I, mean, I told you that. But <clears throat> you will be made a believer, as I said. <laughs> so we have recognition here. Mm. Spiritual peace. So Miss Smelly Cunt wants to uh wants a truce, wants to wave the white flag. Uh no, that's not happening. That is not happening. I meant what I said when I said that I'm going to be very relentless on you. Ain't no take backs. Ain't no sorries. I don't do it. I don't do sorries. I don't do take backs. And the reason why I don't do sorries or take backs is because normally, okay, people who have great big hearts, you know, y'all try to take advantage of people um, with our energy. So if we say, oh, yeah, you know what? It's all right. You didn't mean it. Out, right? And we take you back. You just gonna be more relentless on us. You gonna harm us in any way, shape, or form. Cause now you think, oh well, shit, it was that easy. All right, well, cool. I, I know I'm an asshole. They don't know I'm an asshole. Well, fuck it, shit. Since they don't know, I'm gonna continue being an asshole. So fuck no. Spiritual peace, fuck no. Ain't no spiritual peace. No spiritual peace. You should have thought about that before you decided. To be my doppelganger. I guess you don't don't think I know that as well, too. You still in my work. You passing it off as your own. Boo. Can't give out all the deets in one reading. But like I told you, I went through your Akashic records like a fine teeth comb. And I know that your smelly dick nigga. 
was encouraging you to take from me. Mm, facts. I also know you work with family members as well, too. Mm. And ex-husband. Mm, mm, mm. Child, y'all been busy. Mm. Y'all been really busy. But anywho. So, yeah, she's hearing voices. Um, and it's really, truly freaking her out. Um, there's a sibling rivalry here. Okay. Um, so we have Will of Fortune here, sib sibling rivalry. If you are not careful, and I'm going to say it, it may sound very cool, but mm, this is karma. So, um, if you're not careful, one of your kids may be going down for murder. I'm going to say it again. If you're not careful, remember, you can't sleep, you can't eat, shit going on, you hearing stuff banging and clanging your stove blowing up shit blowing up yeah shit real hot in your house huh shit shit real hot where you at right now but spirit wants me to deliver this message to you that you need to pay attention to your kids your kids because your child is about to do something that's going to land them in jail for the rest of their life it's going to happen i'm just giving you the warning i'm not going to tell you what because Spirit said, let that be a surprise. Since you want to think you can sneak up on me, I'm going to leave something, a little element of surprise. Y'all got to mind, my, uh, excuse my allergies. But I'm going to take that as a symbolism that because you in tears, you sniffling. Because now you're realizing that you won't find you something safe to play with. But it's too late though. One of your kids is going down for murder. Not only are you going down... Your shitty dick nigga going down. Valerie Bernard going down. Child, the ex-husband. Child, I can go on and on. Friends involved, all that. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> Should have stayed in the lane that was safe. I told you, I warned you, and I am going to gloat every fucking day. And oh, guess what? I think tomorrow will be the big debut when I had that conversation with Carl. <clears throat> so this sleep paralysis is so severe she does not want to go to sleep at all yeah you may need help or assistance holding tight to the past and past issues here find balance beco before becoming very stressed yeah we also have um the bible disagreements deception lies <laughs> We also have um, future sickness. Well, the sickness is here. Yeah, the sickness is here. <laughs> I ain't gonna make this too, too long. I think I'm gonna just do a daily report in regards to what's going on with them till I feel I feel ready to stop. But you know, that ain't going to happen no time soon, okay? So, yeah, let's do that. I think we're going to make this a daily read just to kind of see where they at, whatever. Because remember, we're not going to hide nothing from you. I'm going to let you know what's up. Just like how you want to hide from me. I'm not going to hide from you. I'm still calling you out, okay? I'm still calling you out. So, yeah, but your ass is dog tired. You ain't getting no sleep. You not eating right. Your hair falling out. How your hair falling out? You a cosmetologist. Huh? You went to school for cosmetology and your hair falling out? Hmm. I wouldn't want you to do my hair then. Because how the fuck you servicing people but your hair falling out? What? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm hearing divorce as well. Your boo is sick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Somebody has an ailment here. Cancer? Okay. Oh yeah. Somebody got somebody just got diagnosed. Hmm. Wow. Well, that was your karma. Congratulations. Difficult situation that left an impression. Yes. Not to fuck with Adana. Leave Adana alone. Allow Adana to be who Adana wants to be. I told you I would have made you a believer. It's only day four. 
only day four and your ass already trying to throw in the fucking towel no bitch you still got more rounds i want to drag the fuck out of you i'm gonna keep dragging and dragging and dragging your ass remember y'all try to set me up for murder y'all try to take me out you think I'm going to let this lay low? Fuck. No. The best part about it is that I can just sit on my throne and just expose you for the filth that you are. And that same trap that you attempted to make for me, you fell into your own trap. Checkmate. Life spinning out of control. Destination nowhere, of course. Because I meant what I said. Lack self-motivation, unbalanced. I meant what I said. I said I'm going to be relentless on top of you. I am going to torment your soul. That is facts. I meant that. Difficulty holding faith. Past issues, struggles, hardships, insecurity, lacking faith, denial. Yeah, I meant that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feeling overwhelmed. Detox your life. Stop bartering yourself. Mm. Mm -mm. Stop bartering yourself. Look what martyring got you, boo. Hemmed up like a scarecrow. <laughs> I said hemmed up like a scarecrow. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Kimberly Pounce. Overwhelmed, angry, locked, burnt out, stressed out. Oh, boo, we just getting started. It's day four. This day four. Energy's still building up. It's still building up, but we only on day four. Mm. When all of this is done, your head going to be spinning like a motherfucking top. You're not even going to recognize yourself. And I hope, not even hope, because it will, it'll teach you to leave people alone. I don't know you from a can of paint. I don't know you. I know of you because you in my shit. You expose yourself. Now shit happening, fucking house blowing up, fucking stove blowing up and shit. You hearing voices, sleep paralysis. You can't even get up and shit. Your soul is trying to come back to your body in the kit. The next time, because you will roam again in the spiritual streets, be careful. Because you don't know who roams in the spiritual streets. You may know who roam down here. You don't know what room's up there. And you don't know what's waiting for you up there. But go ahead. Take some rest. You need it. <laughs> the murderer needs her rest. Go ahead. <laughs> Unable to avoid harmful events. Mm. How about that? Mm, mm, mm. In four days. Four days. We only in. And your life is the upside down. Topsy turvy. You literally live in hell. On earth. Because you felt, you felt real ballsy. To try to set somebody up. Ain't that something. Now your ass nowhere to be found. You ain't disliking my videos, nothing. You still in the dark. You sending your peoples over and your peoples are shocked like, yo, what the fuck did you do? Yeah, that's your peoples. Your peoples pulling away from you. Your people see how dirty and stink that you are and they pulling away from you. They want no part to you. But you gonna get your, you gonna get your 15 minutes of fame, you will. Because you will 
be judged by 12. That is facts. Oh, you gonna be in handcuffs. And while you in handcuffs, bitch, you gonna bow the fuck down to me so I can kick you right in your motherfucking nose. Period. Oh, bitch, you gonna bow down. That's facts. <clears throat> So, Mrs. Murderer, now that I have made myself clear that this is just day four and we just getting started, I meant what I said. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Regret and remorse over past actions. Need better time management. Loss. Trying to control everything. Stress. Just bet you are. Hmm. Because you decided to plot and plan and premeditate a murder. Sorrow, sickness, sacrifice, defeated, period of mourning. Not even a period. This ain't no period of mourning. This is a permanent permanent sea of regret, of remorse, of mourning. Miss Kimberly Pouncil, murderer. Holding on to something that hurts. Offensive, impulsive decisions. Your ass so shook, you don't even know what to do. You scared to even swallow your goddamn spit. I have your ass hemmed up to the wall and I ain't even touch you. Child, and I ain't even touch you. I told you to find you something safe to play with. I don't play games, but my team, they do. So since you wanted to play and be obsessive with me and causing all kinds of shit and trying to bring harm my way, child, mm -mm. that don't work over here, mm -mm, child, what? Uh, harm on me? The queen, child, the other, uh, you, you really smoking something, child. You really smoking something. If you think I'm just going to sit back and let that shit happen, what? Should have thought about that before you tried to infiltrate my dream state. Hmm. Now look at you. Needing help. I need help. I need help. You planning for murders. You've murdered people. Now you play with the cops? The same? You, you not making sense. You calling for help from the said cops? Knowing your history? You not making sense. But don't worry. The guilt will make you tilt so much. <laughs> You'll expose yourself. Even if you decide to go to the police department, they won't even believe you. But you know what? Go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> go right ahead. I told you, I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I got to make a report. What are you making a report of? A psychic... Uh, a psychic's forecast into the future? They gonna look at you like, what? You want us to file a report on a psychic? Why should we do that? And I tell somebody, hey, somebody gotta believe me. Nobody gonna believe you, boo. You lie so goddamn much. All you do is fucking lie and lie and lie and lie. You out here sleeping around with your, your husband's friend, best friend at that. I mean, does the husband know? The ex-husband? Oh, he knows. And wasn't pleased. Well, I wasn't pleased for you trying to attempt to come for me. So, like I said, I'm going to drag you through the underworld. That is facts. Stealing work, taking it as your own, using my pictures as your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just really stepped into a lion's den. Hmm. 
Yeah. All right, let me let you go. I got to go ahead and I got to tap into your, um, what's this here? The um, human trafficking, because I'll be talking about that next. Trafficking children. Oh, you forgot? All right, well, let me remind you. I'm going to talk to you soon.